This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Nigeria's health authorities say more than 1 million COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered in the country from the 3.9 million AstraZeneca vaccine doses received in Nigeria. Inoculation began in mid-March. The executive director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Faiz El Shuaib, says the government is impressed by the response of Nigerians to the vaccination. The first phase of the vaccination is expected to end today, but Dr. Shuaib said the federal government is likely to extend the ongoing exercise by two weeks to create more access for vaccination. He added that his agency is partnering with the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, to monitor the deployment of vaccines to check any form of corruption during the vaccination process. At least 40,000 Abuja residents are said to have been vaccinated. Acting Executive uh, Secretary, FCTA, Primary Health Care Board, Dr. Inda Ayo Iwot urged residents on Monday to ignore conspiracy theories and fake news being pushed on social media about the vaccine, stressing that no known adverse effect had been recorded. The United States Agency for International Development, USAID, says it is providing financial grant and technical assistance worth $3 million to combat food insecurity in Nigeria compounded by COVID-19 pandemic. The agency said in a statement on Monday, the fund will provide assistance to youth-led and mid-stage companies working in food value chains in Nigeria. The USAID mission director, Ann Patansen, said the COVID-19 food security challenge is to help innovative Nigerians alleviate food insecurity. She also said private sector-led solutions to boost food production, processing, and create market linkage along the agricultural value chain in a sustainable way across Nigeria will be encouraged. The challenge will award 15 to 25 youth-led companies up to $75,000 each and award 10 to 15 mid-stage companies up to $150,000 each. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. The International Organization for Migration says at least 34 persons believed to be migrants have drowned after a boat capsized off the coast of Djibouti. It is not known what overturned the vessel. The IOM says the boat, operated by people smugglers, was carrying at least 60 migrants escaping conflict in Yemen and who were on their way to Djibouti. Last month, at least 20 migrants died after smugglers pushed 80 of them from a boat off the coast of Djibouti. The organization has expressed concern over the tens of thousands of young African migrants making the dangerous journey from the Horn of Africa to the Gulf states in search of work. It said the COVID-19 pandemic had forced many migrants to return to their countries because many nations have closed their borders to curb the spread of coronavirus. The IOM said thousands are trapped in Yemen, many living in dangerous conditions and were being forced to pay smugglers to return home. That is ANN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Ademi.